What's this? Could this be my first ever love letter? I'm Izumi Kusakabe, a second year high school student and student council president. There was a letter in my shoe locker, but there's no sender. I was all jittery as I opened what I thought was a love letter in some hidden corner. Huh? It's blank! Maybe it's one of those secret messages that appear when heated. Oh, but come on, I'm no spy or secret agent. I felt silly for thinking there was something romantic about that letter in my locker. Huh. All that excitement for nothing. Must have been someone's prank. I tossed that letter in a nearby trash can. A few days later, I was still wondering about that letter. But right now, I was briskly going through home ec class. Wow, Zumi, you're like super skilled. You cook at home or something? Yeah, I've got working parents, so I end up handling the kitchen. What explains why you're a pro in the kitchen? A guy who can cook? Big plus points there. Student council press, straight A's, and a chef too. Izumi, you're like flawless. Well, you know. Compared to that, your childhood friend on the other hand? Hey, are we supposed to add sugar to the eggs for omelet rice? You don't, it's not a sweet egg omelet. Just look at the recipe. Oh, right. My childhood friend, Suzune Oshima, is the complete opposite of me. To put it bluntly, she's clumsy. She's been accident-prone ever since we were kids, always saying and doing rash things. I'll go wash the rice now. Hey, where's the detergent? You're not planning to wash rice with detergent, are you? Yeah, that's right. Don't you ever help out at home? Just rinse it with water. Don't use detergent. Uh, got it. Guess I'll go wash it in the river then. Is this some old Japanese folktale? Just wash it normally with tap water. She might be clumsy, but Susanae's got this cute charm and a personality you can't hate. So she's actually pretty popular around here. Done. Wow, how did it end up like that? Eat your own creation, will you? Just leave mine alone. In Susanae's group, hers was the only omelet rice that turned out pitch black. Fine, there's someone out there who'd appreciate the omelet rice I worked so hard on. Here, Zimmy. What? What is this? Why are you handing it to me? Well, uh, because I want you to eat it. No way! I can't believe you'd shamelessly try to make me eat this burnt crap! Just because we're childhood friends doesn't mean I'll accept anything from you! You're just too much, Susan A. You're way too clumsy! Clumsy? That's so unfair. I'm just a little more clumsy than most people. Oh, so you actually realize it! I thought you, being my childhood friend who's been with me since we were little, would be a bit kinder. I can only cover for you so much, Susan, eh? Don't be so needy. It's easy for you, Izumi, because you can do everything. You don't understand what it's like for someone who can't. Why am I the bad guy now? You try to feed me this burnt omelet rice without a second thought. Isn't that a bit thoughtless? Fine, I get it. I'll eat it myself. Ugh. Hey, hey, Susan A! Turns out, I had to give Susan A water and look after her. She's such a handful, that childhood friend of mine. That afternoon, I was called out behind the school building by Susan A. <laughs> What's wrong? Why are you crying? Why bring me out here just to start crying all of a sudden? Sorry about today. I was wrong trying to force you to eat that burnt omelet rice. Of course, right? And it's not something to cry about, is it? I'm the one who should be crying after almost being fed that disaster. Don't start hating me, okay? Huh? Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? I mean, it's not like I specifically like or dislike you. We're just childhood friends who happened to meet when we were kids. That's all. That's basically the same as saying you hate me. You must have ignored it because you hate me, right? Ignored? What are you talking about? Ignoring my love letter, huh? That's pretty bold of you. Huh? A love letter? You mean that envelope with the blank paper in my locker? That's right. I wrote that letter. What? Did you just say it was blank? Yeah, there was nothing written in the envelope. No sender name, either. What? I did that? Oh, I can't believe I made such a huge mistake. Was that a prank by you? Why would you do something like that? Hmm, 
But didn't you say something about a love letter just now? No, it was just a joke, okay? You were teasing? But why go to all that trouble just for a prank? Don't use a love letter as a joke! I got my hopes up, even if it was just for a moment. Thinking that there might be a girl out there who likes me enough to write a letter? I was happy, even if it was brief. That's not... If not that, then what? You just said it was a joke! Susan, I looked so embarrassed and just ran off from there. I know. I totally said the wrong thing. That was a genuine love letter. Why do I always screw up? I'm so sick of my own clumsiness. <sighs> I knew Susan A was clumsy, but I never thought she'd stoop to using a fake love letter to mess with me. It's such a shock. But, but still... still Susan A isn't the kind of rotten person who'd prank me with a fake love letter. I've known her since we were little, so... Maybe she was dared to put that love letter in my locker. Is she going through something bad in secret? I need to talk to her. But it's Izumi I love after all. I have to resolve this misunderstanding that I played a joke and sent him a fake love letter. This time, I'll definitely be honest about my feelings. A few days later, it unexpectedly rained when the forecast said it wouldn't. Susan A and I were together at the school entrance. We hadn't spoken since that day. It's raining. You forgot your umbrella, huh? Yeah. Then want to share mine? Well, since we're neighbors, guess I don't have much of a choice. Susan A took her umbrella out of her bag. Here, the umbrella. Uh... This looks more like a TV remote to me. Oh no, I mixed up my umbrella and remote. I had the perfect chance to talk to Izumi and I totally messed it up. Uh, how on earth do you mix up an umbrella with a remote? Guess we'll just have to check the school store for an umbrella. But with the unexpected rain, there was only one umbrella left in stock. So we had no choice but to walk home sharing the umbrella. We've done this umbrella sharing thing before, haven't we? Yeah, back in elementary school when you forgot yours. This time, you're the one who forgot. Honestly, you're so absent-minded. The forecast was wrong, wasn't it? Don't want to hear that from Miss Mix-Up Your Umbrella and Remote. Yeah, I guess I'm really a klutz, huh? Huh? What's up with you today, admitting you're clumsy so easily? Ever since preschool, I've always been causing you trouble with my clumsiness. And since we're childhood friends, I assumed you'd somehow put up with me. I've been taking advantage of that, probably annoying you. So, I'm really sorry about that. She's oddly docile today. Well, your clumsiness isn't exactly a new thing. It's part of your personality, not something that'll go away immediately. And I've been pretty harsh and blunt to you because we're childhood friends. So I'm partly at fault too. Sorry about that. But there's one thing that's been bugging me. What? About that love letter in the locker. I was thinking maybe you were forced to put it there as some kind of a dare or penalty game? What's up with that? Nope, that's not it. For real? You haven't been dealing with any secret trouble or anything, have you? Huh? Are you worried about me? That's kinda nice. Well, of course, we're childhood friends. It's like we're family, you know? Oh, just like family, huh? I haven't been dealing with anything bad secretly, you know? And I couldn't bring myself to say it was a real love letter. Glad to hear that. I'd hate to think someone I've known since we were kids was having a hard time. Is it just because we've been together since we were young? What other reason is there? So you don't dislike me, right? We get each other, you know? And it's always kind of fun hanging out, so I've never really disliked you. So, yeah! I do like you, Susan A. I don't dislike you. Oh, so you don't hate me. That means you like me, huh? I mean, as childhood friends, of course! My face felt hot. I'd accidentally let an embarrassing line slip out. Oh, hey, when did the rain stop? You're right. Oh, a rainbow! Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. For a moment, my chest tightened seeing her cute smile. Hey, just so you know, that love letter wasn't a joke, okay? Huh? Izumi. 
Just then, I was called out to from behind. I was waiting for you, Izumi. Huh? Waiting? In this rain? It's stopped now. I have something to talk about. I knew I'd run into you if I waited here. The one who called me was my classmate, Akame Iwakana. She's beautiful, excels in both studies and sports, and is the popular student council vice president. Our interactions were mostly about student council work. Hey, Suzune, you're not Izumi's girlfriend, are you? You're just childhood friends, right? Yeah. Can you leave us alone for a bit? I have something to talk to Izumi about. You can go home on your own now, right? The rain stopped. Yeah. How sudden. Suzune had no choice but to head home alone. Honestly, more than Akimi, I was curious to hear the rest of Suzune's talk about the love letter. So, what did you want to talk about? Actually, I've had a crush on you since freshman year. Oh. No way. I, I, being such a klutz, can't match up to someone like Akemi. Would you maybe consider going out with me? I'm... No, I can't listen to this. I need to get out of here. Akemi might just steal Izumi away. I didn't realize Suzune left with such thoughts. My talk with Izumi ended midway at the worst timing. I was supposed to tell him something important. <sighs> I should have told him sooner. But if Izumi ends up dating Akemi, I guess there's nothing I can do about it. But I really don't like it. <laughs> I'm starting to cry. Next morning, worried about Suzune, I waited outside her house for her. Izumi, why are you waiting? I was worried since you went home mid-conversation yesterday. You surprised me. Anyway, shall we start walking? Hey, so I'm curious, so gotta ask. You got confessed to by Akemi yesterday, right? You overheard, huh? About her confession? Akemi's the vice president, and she's pretty and smart, right? I think you two look great together. If you haven't given her an answer yet, you should hurry before a girl like her gets taken by some other guy. I'm going on ahead. Oh... Not even listening to me, Suzune hurried off towards school. I've always been running away. If possible, I'd want to hate Izumi, but it's way too late to start hating him now, because I've liked him for over ten years now. It's painful because I like him. The thought of Izumi and Akemi together is enough to make me cry. Why, of all things, are we in the same class? I don't want to go to school. Ever since Akemi's confession, Suzune's been avoiding me. Suzune said that love letter wasn't a prank. So what did she mean? I tried talking to Suzune to clear this up, but she just looks down silently. This is beyond just teasing her for being clumsy. She won't even come out of her house. What should I do? With no other option, I put a letter in Suzune's shoe locker. It read, Meet me after school tomorrow at the park we often played at when we were little. I have something important to discuss. A nostalgic park. Susan A and I often played here as kids, while I was lost in thought gazing at the starry night sky. Um, sorry for the wait. I want to say I wasn't waiting at all, but it's been three hours since school ended. Sorry, I was debating whether to come or not. Well, I'm just glad you came. Since you've been avoiding me recently, we haven't been able to talk. So, what's this important talk? Is it because you got a pretty girlfriend and you don't want me near you anymore? That's understandable. Having a klutz like me around might make your girlfriend misunderstand. But I won't do anything like that. I'll stay away from you. I just want my dear childhood friend to be happy, that's all. Huh. Let me say the truth, since this is the last time. That love letter wasn't a prank. It was a serious love letter. I just happened to mess up and put a blank paper in and forget the sender name because I'm so clumsy. For me to make such a mistake at such a crucial moment, that's how much of a klutz I am. So someone proper like Akemi suits you, Izumi. You're really something! Right now I'm filled with anger at how you avoided me for days and the words you just said! Why are you acting like it's a given that I'm dating Akemi? I turned her down properly! The one I like is you, Suzune! Oh. I've always seen you as my close childhood friend. But recently, I realized I've started seeing you as a girl! So stop avoiding me! I want to talk to you, Suzune! 
Be honest and tell me how you feel. But I've been saying things like I love you and it was a real love letter this whole time. Say it more straight up. I l like you, Hazumi. <laughs> Who would bite their tongue in a scene like this? <laughs> uh. Don't laugh. I'm being serious. Yep, clumsy as ever. But I like how clumsy you are, Susanae. We took the roundabout way, but I feel like every day will be fun if it's with Susanae. I want to believe that. <laughs>